In this lesson, I would like to explain to you how to use a USB device. I would like to teach you how to plug it in, how to load files onto it, and how to eject it properly without damaging your files. In this case, uh, what you see here is a page that I've created for you showing you all the different types of USBs and what they're like. Um, up at the top it says saving information and files on a tiny reusable mobile device. That means this little guy can go anywhere you want, stick him in your back pocket, bring him around, plug him into any computer, load files onto it, take files off. It's very, very universal, very handy. Um, you don't need to know what USB really means. It just means universal serial bus and it would take a mile and a half to explain that to you doesn't really matter, but what you do need to know is that it is also called a flash drive, a thumb drive, a keychain device, a jump drive, and a bunch of other uh, strange names that people give them. Um, here on the left of the screen, uh, where my pointer is at, you're going to be seeing a security-enabled device. This uh, little gold and black bar in the middle of the device here is where you scan your thumbprint across the USB, which allows you and only you with your thumb to access the, the uh, files on that USB. Pretty nice for business. Now right below it, you can see that there are some people who love to hide the fact that they have information like spies. James Bond would have loved this lighter here. He probably would have had it engraved. These are secret storage objects. You can find them in all kinds of neat things. Now over to the right at the top, this is a retractable head flash drive. This guy can uh, eject its head in and out so that it keeps it safe from being, you know, bumped, scratched, dented, and, and get sand and stuff inside of it. It's really nice. And below that, you see the port, the port itself that the computer has that you plug these USB devices into. Now this little piece on the left is a firewire device to ignore that. I'm talking about the two thin wafer sized ports that fit the little head of the USB. When you plug in the USB and if it doesn't fit in there, that's fine. Turn it upside down, try it again. Now this right here is a cable to connect your devices such as cameras, printers, and things like that to your computer. Some of the other cool things here are the different types of USB devices that you can find on the market. And I'm not talking the seafood market or, well, maybe I am. If you look at the middle, you have a whole seafood, uh, what is this? This is the sushi environment. You also have your good old classic American burger off to the right. And who doesn't love Legos? Now, when you insert your USB into the computer, uh, in this case, I have the retractable head one, so I've got my thumb positioned to retract or to pop the head out and stick it into the computer. So when you decide to put this into the computer, you want to be very, very careful. You don't want to put it in sideways or crooked. You want to position it just right, even it up with the port, and slide it in very carefully. Sometimes you'll hear it snap in, and other times you will see here that mine lights up and lets you know that it is correctly placed into its position. When your USB device is actually plugged into the computer, a couple of things is going to happen. One of them is that the autoplay window will pop up. This autoplay window uh, is just an, uh, a little simple program the computer gives you just as a kind of a, a gratuity to show you what you can do with this once you plug it in. Here it shows you, do you have any pictures on there? Would you like to import them? Would you like to view them? You know, copy your disks? Would you like to organize and edit them? When you pull this little gray bar down, you click with the left hand side and pull it down, it will reveal even more things available to you right below it. In this case, I would like to open the folder and view the files. And if in case this autoplay does not pop up, I will show you in just a moment what else to do. And other times the Adobe Photoshop Elements Loader will try to load the photos from your device. So in this case, if you do, if you do have Adobe Photoshop and you're loading photos from it, then you must know the program. But if you don't, please close the program and either work with the autoplay or work with your own files. So now we're looking at the desktop of my computer. 
What I want to do now is I want to plug in my uh, flash drive and I'm going to watch the autoplay windows pop up for me. And here we have it. Now if I open folder to view files, I can see what's inside. Now in order to get things in and off of Microsoft, I can double click to get inside of things and I can simply drag and drop my items right onto the desktop. I can also do a right click on the pictures. Here, let's find a new one over here. Do a right click on the picture, on the picture itself, by the way. I can come down to the word copy, come over to the desktop right next to the window, click the right side, and go down to the word paste. Or I can right click on there and say send to Oh, hang on a sec. Let's get that. Let's get that menu over here a little bit better. So I'm going to right click on an image. And I'm going to go to the words send to and choose the word desktop. Yeah. And there it is. Okay. So there are many different ways to get things on and off of my USB device. Okay. So this is my USB there it is right there. I'm in the main part. It's the USB itself is called Smith Wask. I can close it. If I want to go find it again, all I have to do is go to the start bar, go to my computer, and go to the USB device and double click to get in. I can drag and drop files onto it. I can drag and drop files off of it. And it says I already have some on a copy to keep both files and I can close it by clicking the top and corner. Now once I'm finished using that I'm going to want to find this item on your bar in the far bottom right hand side of your computer. It's called the system tray. Now there's a little icon in there that you need to look at. If you're using Vista this is a little sketch of what that icon is going to be because it's so tiny you can't see it but in either way you're gonna you're gonna see a little green circle or a little green arrow here let's let me show you what the XP version looks like and there it is so look for these little device uh, icons in the bottom of your of your system tray bar now in the system tray bar it says when you're when you're down here I want you to click on that once with your left left uh, mouse click then it will pop up this little bar this little little strip bar here and it says you must click on this little bar to remove the drive safely. So right here it says safely remove USB mass storage device. You click on this and in Vista it'll pop up a little thing here and it'll say safely to remove uh, uh, hardware OK and you have to click on the word OK. In XP it won't say anything but what will happen is that this little tiny icon will disappear from the bar. That's how you know that it is safe to remove your icon. This little guy will disappear. Now is when you're going to want to put your fingers firmly on the sides of your USB device and pull it straight out of your computer without wiggling it. If you wiggle it or bend it, it may break your USB device and or damage your computer. Now, some of us do not have enough USB space on our computers. We've got cameras connected to it, stereo speakers connected to it, USB flash drives connected to it, printers connected to it, and all kinds of things. And we've run out of USB room. So here we are, USB hubs. These are plugs that allow four or more USB devices to be plugged into a single USB port on your computer. And look at all the fun little goofy things we can do. If you look down here in the far right hand corner on the bottom, you can see that I have USB cables plugged into little ports. And this guy itself, the little red box, is plugged into my computer with one of those. So for every one cable I use, I can use four more with a hub. Up here, the little guy uh, at the very top left hand side has his little hands and feet are where you plug in all of your USB and of course he's hanging from the very top of his head where he's plugged into your computer. So if you don't have enough device places to plug in your USB devices, use a hub. 
So just remember, before you pull out your USB device, your flash drive, you must pay attention to this little icon. You could ruin your devices if you don't. So check for your icon in the bottom right hand taskbar. Make sure it's not there and gently pull out your USB device. That should be the end of this lesson.